Hey guys, and welcome back to the briefing room. <clears throat> I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but I'm kind of out of ideas. Yeah, because I'm out of ideas, I'm going to show you how to make one of these Veritech paper airplane things. Uh, you'll, need, you'll need colored pencils. Uh, the color depends on, you know, what Veritech you want to make. Uh, you'll need paper. And, of course, you'll need, you know, plenty of space to fold. Space? Fold? I think I have an idea. Hello, this, um, it's Hey Guys. Hey Guys? Yeah, it's my thing. This is not what I signed up for, right? I don't want shtick. The fans expect it. Okay, okay, I do it your way. Hey guys, this is Professor, Professor Stoodle Doodle. And this, uh, this Dean, he asked me to talk to you about space foods. From what information this, uh, this man gave me, I can say there's not a lot that we know about space folding in Robotech. Uh, the few things that they say are things like how you detect it. Strange flash of light and an explosion followed by irregularities in the gravitational field. And there's a couple other things, but uh, they're not very important. The, there is such a thing as folding space in actual science. The the space fold that they refer to in Robotech sounds very similar to uh, the wormholes we are looking into now. These wormholes are predicted by the theory of general relativity. The theory, in case you didn't know, was created by Albert Einstein of all people in 1905, theorizing that Take three. Theorizing that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers and that the light stored in a vacuum was independent of all observers. As I stated before, this, this predicted the existence of wormholes. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how does this apply to the space fold? And the answer is actually very simple. Wormholes are theoretically believed to bridge the gap between two points by bending, aka folding, ah, oh, see what you did, space. However, However, the, the belief is that the, these bridges would be very microscopic and these uh, too small to fit anything uh, significant through. There are some that theorize that you could add exotic matter to these wormholes and expand them through that. But theoretically, ex adding this exa exotic matter would only cause the wormhole to collapse when you add regular matter, such as a road ship. So, 
there's still a lot we need to learn about these wormholes before anything is possible. So, what does this mean for this Robotech? Well, these TV shows and these movies aren't known to be scientifically accurate. One would only have to watch an episode of uh, Miss Buster's Movie Miss to uh, figure that out. But that's not to say it's not unfounded either. There is much we don't know about these wormholes. We've never even seen them. But, so it, it's not unfounded. There is something to what they say. But it's still very unlikely we'll ever be able to launch a ship into one of these space foods. But that is all I have to give you about these space folds. So I will send it back to this Dean. Hey guys, and um, it's me again. I just want to give a big thanks to uh, Professor, Professor Stutendoodle. Even though he's a bit of a nut. I heard that. A anyway. I also want to give a big thanks to Space.com and several other sources that I got this information from. Uh, I, I had a fascinating time researching this along with the good professor over there. And I, and I thought I'd share it with you. It's, I always find it cool to correlate the uh, the actual science with, you know, what's in the show. I always find that fascinating, doing stuff like that. So, if you like that video, like, subscribe, uh, tell me in the comments that you like the video. I have another one that I am working on right now, so we'll, uh, uh, so I will definitely put that one out, and I'll continue making these videos if you like this type of thing. Uh, also, check out my Patreon, check out my uh, Twitch, check out my Facebook page. All of the links for all of those are down below. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.